Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am doing a bridal trial. I feel like I may call these videos that if you guys like them. Uh, so basically in today's video, I'm going to be practicing my bridal makeup. Uh, I'm just playing around with products that I feel like I might wear on my wedding day and just experimenting with different looks. The look I'm going for today is very close to I feel like what I'm wanting on my wedding day. Uh, there may be a few tweaks along the way. Obviously my wedding is next May so I've got quite some time to test out different foundations, concealers, things of that nature and yeah I just wanted to do this look that I've been kind of swooning over. I found the look on Pinterest. I'll have all the information listed down below. So this is the look that I'll be recreating today and if you guys are interested in seeing more looks and me just play around for a looks that I'm considering uh, wearing on my wedding day, then definitely let me know in the comments down below and I will keep doing these for you. Uh, please excuse the hair. I tried to copy the girl's hair and um, it didn't really turn out quite like hers, but hey, that's why I don't do hair. I only do makeup. Uh, so I think we can go ahead and get started. I moisturized my face about 10 minutes ago with the Paula's Choice Cellular Defense Daily Moisturizer. I love this stuff. It literally makes my face feel like it's plump and just ready for makeup. So that's what I use to moisturize. I'm going to use my Benefit Professional underneath my eyes where my cheeks are. Uh, that's where I find that my skin is the most porous. And more than likely, I will use this primer on my wedding day just because it is one of the best that I have found that really does smooth out the actual pores. So I just took a little drop on my finger and I'm just going to rub that in where I find my uh, pores show up the most when I do apply makeup. I am going to apply a little bit to my forehead uh, because I do have pretty noticeable forehead lines. That's just how it's always been for me. There's nothing I can really do about it unless I decide to get Botox, you know, so I'm terrified of needles. Don't think that's going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and insert a photo of the makeup I'm taking inspiration from as well as list the website down below where you can find who did the makeup and the photography and all that. I want to give credit where it's due, but really it's just a classic makeup look that's focused on lashes. It's not a smoky eye. It's not anything heavy or dramatic. I really just want something classic. Uh, so I'm going to be using the lashes that you guys really liked in my last video. They're the uh, Eyler Vegas Nay Grand Glamour Lashes. So this is them right there. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to insert a photo. For my foundation, I really just want to use my Makeup Forever Water Blend. However, all of the shades they sent me were too light and I'm still waiting to get darker colors in. So I think what I'm going to do is actually just mix in a little bit of my Ultra HD. This is a really dark shade that I had and I got in last year from them. So I'm going to mix these two together and I may actually like the combo better since Water Blend is pretty sheer uh, and the Ultra HD does have a nice medium coverage. So I'm just mixing Y225 and Y315 and I'm just going to build a custom color. Uh, hopefully, hopefully it matches me. We'll see. <laughs> okay, I'm hoping this is an okay match. Uh, when you actually blend other foundations with the water blend foundation, uh, I guess since there's so much water in that actual formula, it doesn't want to mix up with other formulas. I've tried mixing several different colors in with my water blend and it just doesn't mix. So that's why I'm really hoping to just get my correct shade in the water blend. To blend this out, I'm using my IT Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Foundation Brush. I love this for any type of liquid foundation, but I really want, the reason I'm wanting water blend to work so well for me uh, as far as like a wedding makeup goes is because it really is undetectable, you guys. I mean, just like smoothing it in on my face right now and me looking in the mirror, I can't see. Like I cannot see this foundation on my skin. And that's something that I want, but I also want the foundation to last a long time. And since this is a waterproof, uh, sweat proof formula, that's why I want it to work. But hopefully I actually may like mixing in this Ultra HD formula too, because it's actually turning out pretty nice. I 
just mix up one more pump and I'm going to apply that to the center of my face with my beauty blender just to give my freckles a little bit more coverage. I don't want them to be totally masked, but since I am doing really dramatic eyelashes, I feel like if they're popping out too much, I don't want the makeup look to look too undone or too natural. I still want to have, you know, flawless, pretty makeup for pictures, but I just, I don't want it to be too overdone. I just realized I haven't even done a review of the Makeup Forever Water Blend. Obviously, you guys know from my post, I absolutely love it. Uh, but I just don't have the proper shade to really show on camera without mixing obviously a darker color in So I can't really give you guys like a straight-up review only on water blend uh, If the color doesn't look right, you know what I mean? Because in the video obviously I'm gonna look super pale and people are gonna be like that looks like crap on you So I'm not even gonna go there. Doesn't this foundation just look awesome? Just so skin like i love it i love it so much so for concealer i'm going to again mix i feel like it's just all about mixing for me right now i'm going to mix makeup forever ultra hd with my bare mineral serum concealer i'm mixing these shades light and y23 and the reason i'm doing this is because i really like i like the coverage of both of these concealers but i've mixed them in the past and just something about the longevity of the two mixed together i really liked so that's why i'm going to try it again i uh, just test it out so i just have a small amount on the back of my hand and i don't want to go too overboard with my concealer i don't want to go too overboard with anything I'm really nervous about doing this right now like I do makeup all the time on camera but I've just been avoiding <laughs> practicing bridal makeup because I'm just worried I just won't even find a look that I'm gonna like I'm sure that's not gonna happen but it's still kind of giving me a little anxiety and I am going to blend that out with my beauty blender area I'm going to use my NARS translucent crystal light reflecting powder I've mentioned this several times in videos that anytime I want it to look like my face doesn't have powder on it I'll use this just because it does have uh, those really light uh, I don't know not glitter particles but I guess light reflecting particles in it and it just it you can never tell that you're wearing powder with this powder so that's what I'm going to use underneath my eyes and I do feel like it's it does a good job of setting makeup I don't really ever have a problem with it moving around especially my concealer creasing so I think I may just go ahead and stick with this for the wedding day I possibly might need to buy a new one because this one's running out pretty quickly but um, I just press that in again with a beauty blender and I try to use the smallest amount possible. I'm just using a little tiny amount. So this is a step that I wish I didn't have to take but I know I'll have to do it and I do have to powder along my jawline because makeup just comes off around that area. It's the weirdest thing. I don't understand why it happens but normally by the end of the day if I haven't put some type of powder along my jawline it just it rubs off so I'm using my favorite which is Lorac Perfection and I just used it in the shade medium. I use the smallest amount I feel that I can get away with so hopefully I just wish, I wish that didn't happen but it does so I have recently fallen in love with this bronzer from Laura Mercier it's the matte radiance baked powder in the shade bronze number three this is actually just a sample size but I just love how natural it blends into the skin and it just it looks so pretty it just i love it i love the way it looks i love the finish of it so i'm going to use that with the it cosmetics blush brush and i'm just going to use that to do some slight contouring in the photo that i'm taking inspiration from she really doesn't have a defined contour it's more of just like what i'm doing right now 
Uh, so I think I'm going to try that out. I don't really contour that much. I mean, I, you'll never really see me with like a really sharp contour. So I kind of want to stay true to that. I don't want to do something on my wedding day that I wouldn't normally do. Uh, so I'm just going to use this bronzer to give my skin a little bit more color. And we'll see after I'm done what we can go in and add next. feel pretty good about it um, again I don't want to go in and do anything that's too ashy so now I'm gonna move on to my blush in her photo the photo I'm taking inspiration from she totally looks like she's wearing something like max warm soul this blush does not want to show up on me though it it never stays on I can't get it to last on me and the color barely shows up I don't know what the deal is so I'm actually going to use two tart blushes I'm gonna use the shade buff which I love this color is discontinued but uh, they make one called Exposed that's really similar, and I'm going to mix it with the shade called Empowered. So it's kind of like a peachy nude blush, but hopefully it stays on better than what Warm Soul does. I would totally use Warm Soul, but it just doesn't want to stay on me. So I'm going to mix these two together and see what we get. that maybe a little less peach I might add a little less peach next time uh, but for highlighter almost 100% positive I'm gonna use my benefit what's up I love this stuff it just brings life back to your skin especially if you've added a lot of powders so I'm just gonna apply that on the high points of my face with my beauty blender it is so pretty definitely one of my all-time favorites and honestly I feel like this is definitely what I'll use I'm going to use what I always use which is max eyeshadows in these shades wedge and charcoal brown and I stopped putting this in the, the description of my videos because I thought people knew like the brow game never really changes it stays like this 24 7 but so many people ask in my videos now what are you using on your brows it's still still these two guys and I use two brushes I use the uh, it cut not yet cosmetics what is this what are you Real Techniques Brow Brush, it's the thicker one. And then to get a little bit more definition on the lower part of my brow, I use the Anastasia Number 20 Brow Brush. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna speed it up so it doesn't take brebs. So let's go. are done now I'm gonna move on to the eyes in the photo I'm taking inspiration from she kind of has a gold shadow on her lid and then really thick black gel liner and that style definitely isn't gonna work for my hooded lid so I'm gonna tweak that a little bit and what I'm gonna do is work from my meat matte nude palette from the balm and I'm gonna take this PG transition shade and use that in my crease and then I'm going to take this darker uh, matte brown color and I'm going to use that to create my traditional kitten flick and then we're going to smoke that kitten flick out. Uh, so there's a little bit of drama going on but still nothing crazy, not anything intense, still going to be pretty wearable. Uh, so I'm just going to pick up a little bit of, it's called matte sign and I'm going to blend that out with my Sigma E40. Okay, you guys can't say you like this, obviously. <laughs> So 
someone's entire uh, wedding style, wedding look that I really love and that uh, really inspired me to just keep it super classic was Makeup by Lilith. Uh, I think she owns Elsie Cosmetics and her wedding first of all was beautiful but you would think with her being such a big makeup artist and she does all these dramatic looks you know on brides you would think that she would do the same type of thing on herself but her makeup was so soft so classic um, just like she looked so effortless and that's kind of that's kind of the vibe that I'm going for. So um, if you have not looked up makeup by Lilith, her wedding and her just makeup and her dress, she was the epitome of a classic bride. Uh, so she definitely inspired me to uh, just kind of keep it classic, keep it simple, not too overwhelming. So that's what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to pick up Matte Wood, which is the darkest brown in this palette. And I'm going to use that on my Zoeva 317 Winged Liner Brush. And I'm just going to softly start creating a wing, a little kitten flick here. do is pick up a slightly shimmery brown color. I'm going to use Gilded Gold from the Stila and the Lights palette and I'm just going to use a Zoeva 231 Luxe Crease Brush and we're just going to smoke out the wing. We're going to smoke out the kitten flick, see what we can do here, make it look a little more just soft and I don't know, just play around with it. Now I'm going to add these Vegas Nay Grand Glamour Lashes and I will be right back. Alright, so I feel like I need a little bit of shimmer going in with my look. So I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Sugar Frost and I'm going to apply that to the inner corners of my eyes and just bring it down a little bit just to add a little pop of shimmer. I just added a little bit of my MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara to my lower lashes. Alright, so I am going to use On Point Lip Liner by Bare Minerals, Honey Bun Lipstick by Bare Minerals, and MAC Lip Glass in Love Nectar. And if I like this combo, we may just stick with it. If not, then we may try something different. dark for what I'm wanting so I think I'm gonna pop a little bit of this uh, shade called controversy in the middle colors good what do you guys think I feel like I'm just gonna keep it wear it for the day see how I like it Ugh. okay so this is it. I really like it. Um, I think I'm going to fix my hair, come back, and you guys can tell me what you think too. Um, but yeah, kind of, kind of what I'm going for. May try a couple different looks if you guys want to see more videos, uh, but I'll be right back.
this is the finished look. Do not judge the hair. I tried to make my hair look like what the girls looked like in the picture and uh, yeah didn't really come out like I wanted but I, I do really like how the makeup turned out this is definitely the vibe that I'm going for very classic neutral just something that I'll be able to look back on and be like you know that wasn't something super trendy that I was doing that kind of faded out just something that's gonna be timeless and classic uh, so yeah, this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see another one of these and me kind of play around with different looks, definitely let me know in the comment section down below and I can definitely do that for you. So I hope you enjoyed this bridal number one look. Hopefully there will be more and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!